former England rugby captain has spoken out about his relationship with Princess Diana during a new revealing interview. Ex-England, Captain McCarling has opened up about his relationship with Princess Diana during a revealing interview. The now 58-year-old was mooted to have been involved in a romantic affair with Diana, despite claims they were just friends at the time. No, stranger to the headlines, Carling enjoyed an eventful career both on and off the pitch. The youngest ever England skipper, Carling guided his national side to three Grand Slam victories, alongside a second-place finish at the 1991 Rugby World Cup. But it was his actions away from the field that garnered the most attention, as part of an interview with The Telegraph. The ex-Harlequin's ace addressed claims that he had an affair with Princess Diana. When asked about the rumored relationship, Carling, who was married at the time, said, Front page is very different from back page. Yay, it was not nice. Hey, a lot of that is my own fault. You can't complain. You have to learn. Relationships that I got wrong. So, that's what they got fascinated by. You look back on it and you think it was all blown out of all proportion, but it made a good story. Carling has also spoken out about his frosty alliance with the RFU hierarchy, including an altercation that saw him put three of them up against the wall. Speaking on his time as the England captain, Carling claimed, without being funny, I put three of them up against the wall at different functions because I was so f asterisk 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 infrustrated with them. That's not clever. They must have thought a 22-year-old who was meant to go in the military, privately educated, he must be perfect to be England captain. And he turns out to be this nightmare who argues with them the whole time. Once things change from a player's point of view, is never satisfied. It wasn't all bust-ups and front-page spreads during Carling's time as a player. The Wiltshire Born star did reflect on some of his prouder moments as a player, including a meeting with fellow rugby stars Paul Ackford, Mike T, Peter Winterbottom and Paul Randall following his final match as England captain. That blew me away, Carling recalled. They were my heroes before I played for England. For me, that was what it was all about. It's not 80,000 people, because they don't know who you are. It was them. They had watched everything. They had looked after this annoying, posh little idiot who was meant to be their captain. If they thought I had done okay, it was a really great moment for me.